Hello. This is your old pal Meat. I've had to go into hiding. I'm just letting the heat die down. I don't understand why I was arrested. I haven't killed anyone innocent. Pimps. Thugs. Dealers. Junkies. Rapists. Even little horse. The cops should be thanking me for all the hard work me and my family do. In fact, our society is full of scum and injustice. For example, in 2008, a man named Daniel Snape was convicted multiple times for sexual abuse. Now what happened to this man? Oh, he won $10 million from a lottery ticket. This is the perfect example of what is wrong with the world. He doesn't deserve that money. He deserves to die in a fire. Society is full of horrible people in many different colors and meanings. Think of it this way. Life is a sandwich. Some people are bread. Some people are tomato. Some people are pickles. Anime. I'm the one who eats the sandwich. I'm the judge of the jury. And that is basically what four meals of the day. And life in general is all about Does anyone remember FourMealsOfTheDay.net? If not, we'll make a summary. I was reading about the disturbing films on IMDb. I was doing a lot of posts about disturbing films such as Martyrs, Interior, and most recently a Serbian film. He had begun a discussion by asking what the most disturbing films that had been mentioned. Many people mentioned the real movies and sometimes internet videos. BME Pain Olympics. The Suicide of R. Bud Dwyer. Nothing I've not seen on the internet before, until I received a personal message in my inbox. Someone sent me the links to formulesoftheday.net. According to the website, it was disturbing. At first, I didn't understand. The name of the website did not seem to imply any content was disturbing. I went to the website, and it had four pages of options. The first option is About Us. The second one, called DLC. The third one called Feed the Monster, and that one only takes you to the home page. Clicking the About Us takes you to the page that includes a strange paragraph that reads, FourMealsOfTheDay.net aims to expose the problems and respond to them as they continue in an endless series of videos that lead to Four Meals of the Day. We have declared war on the bliss and unfortunate irony. The DLC page includes links to the video's discharge characteristics, QuickTime, and WMV format. There were a total of 26 videos on the site, most of whom were charged in 2006. Most of them did not make sense. Nothing happens in these places and situations. Nothing all that disturbing, anyway. The videos usually appears one of two things. Either a video of people watching cartoons on television, or a video of two people talking about random things walking along a desert trail. The strangest thing is there's absolutely no actual background noise, with the exception of static and people talking. The quality of the videos is like an amateur porn movie of the early 90s. Whenever someone speaks, it's a little hard to understand what they're saying, and downloading content and feed the monster. For some reason, the comment sections of each video were shot with hateful comments and death threats from the creators of the website. The only video that seemed to have some content that would be considered disturbing was a video called Amy, age 20. The video 18 in the DLC page, a 15 minute video entitled Amy Girl in an empty room. The door was open in the background. The first 10 minutes was the girl singing and dancing casually around the portable karaoke machine. The camera moves around, meaning it's being held by a visible person. At first the video was nothing strange, but then there are audio cuts, and a red screen for a second, and then a cut again. The girl is still in the room, but now she's on her knees, her face and her hands. She's crying. The door is now shut and the camera is still set on the floor. No one else is in the room. Earlier in the video, the girl that wore glasses, she was crying for five minutes. Occasionally, he sobs phrases like, Please, Dad, why did you take her? At the last second, the video is short and abruptly, the door at the bottom opens slowly, right next to the video player. A small blurry photograph 
of the girl in the video. This girl had been in many of the previous videos, but she didn't appear in any videos later, at least from the ones that I can see. After seeing her cry for five minutes, I had to leave the room for a minute. There was no way to fake that kind of pain for the video. I was about to say forget it and I was about to leave the page, but I was too curious, so I kept clicking around the Feed the Monster page. It was basically the content download page, but with only four videos. According to the sidebar, they all had more comments and views than the other ones. The four videos were titrated after four meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. The first video was breakfast. At the beginning of the video, Windows Movie Maker logo comes up and appears. Tabitha, age 16. The recording starts with an exterior shot of a dirty old warehouse surrounded by trees. With a duration of two minutes, we see a fat shirtless man wearing a pair of rabbit ears looking in a mirror with the camera. He has appeared in many of the previous videos as the cameraman. At once the video is short and in a messy living room. The man and the bunny and other camera appears with a red baseball cap talking about random stuff as Catholic schools and life in the big city. The type of baseball cap mentioned are waiting for someone. After about 11 minutes of conversation, you hear a trip by a car to a house and then you hear a knock at the door. The bunny man gives the camera to someone else and it quickly removes the ears and puts on a shirt. When they open the door, a young girl supposedly Tabitha, I presume, is at the door. It is revealed here that the house is in a scheduled area in the forest, as seen in the background to open the front door. The two men greet it politely, and spend two minutes discussing a temporary job with it. The other man is dressed now and appears to be wearing a red hoodie and red pants, but his face is hidden. The three grapple with the girl wrapping paper while recording as she screams. Then the three men set fire to the girl. She is still alive, wriggling. The video lasts about three minutes until the girl dies. There is another girl now in the men's room. She has long, dark hair and is completely naked. She speaks French and laughs with the men before the video ends. The next video was lunch. The shortest of all videos, this one lasts about 17 minutes. This time the title card says, Mary, age 28. The video begins with a very threatening hooded guy walking around a dark suburban neighborhood with a camera pointed at him. The man stops at a dark alley, sits and stares angrily at the camera for about 30 seconds without blinking, while breathing with difficulty. He begins talking on a cell phone when someone says, I have attached to my house. I have found it in Longhorn Cavern State Park. The video is cut and the image becomes inside a hallway of full doors. A girl is heard screaming and crying from inside the room. Then the video appears inside the room. All the lights are off, and the cries of the girl is heard from inside the room, but it's too dark to see. The door is open all the time. Suddenly, several hooded men enter the room, and the screen is twisted to one side. The girl begins to shout louder, but the voice is drowned out, as if something was covering her mouth. In a short period of time, nothing is to be heard. Now the hooded man, holding the camera while running down the aisle, dropping profanity appears. There is a bathroom in which you point the camera at a mirror, looking at himself, and begins to mourn as if something horrible happened. He drops his pants and begins to crack his scrotum with a razor. Their cries sound louder until a sound of a bang is heard elsewhere in the house. He gets scared and immediately grabs the camera and turns it off. The next video, Dinner, was the longest of all the videos. This time the title card at the beginning says, Diana, age 17. The first six minutes are held in a tight walking along the edge of a dark mansion. The cameraman is heard breathing heavily. He slowly enters the mansion. Upon entering one of the rooms on the first floor, the man with the baseball cap in the first video is sitting at his desk writing things on a piece of paper. He's ignoring the cameraman. There is a red litter on the sofa in the background, and a table with candles on it. Candles are the only lights in the room. Then the video cuts in the inside of a car, and they're driving on a dirt road. A young man driving the car, maybe just over two years, a man in the back seat holding the camera, and in the passenger seat a girl who is posing to the camera. 
The man holding the camera is positioning to himself and reveals himself as the man in the first video, the bunny. However, he is dressed normal and no longer is wearing rabbit ears. He's smiling for the camera. While the driver and Diana talk for a while, the man is still being filmed. He begins pronouncing some words, but says nothing as he is trying to tell us something without others to hear. Meanwhile, the driver is flirting with Diana. We then cut to the point of view of a surveillance camera in the same room that once had candles lit inside, but now the candles were blown. The room is lit only by a window in the background. A man wearing a pig mask enters the room and starts to set up microphones under the table and behind the sofa. Then there is a voiceover recording of someone explaining how to set up the microphones and the reason that you were setting up. That is to hear the voices of the birthday boy and his girlfriend. The man with the pig mask and the surveillance camera moves to try to focus directly on the sofa. The man looks out the window and immediately runs out of the room as if something surprised him. After four minutes of filming the couch in silence, an audio is collected as the man and the girl who is in the car enter the room. The dialogue of the man is barely audible, at least most of the time, but you can hear her perfectly. They sit on the couch and go through the next 11 minutes talking. The man says something, but it's, it's hard to hear. He asks if you feel sexy, and she rubbed her hand on the sofa in a sexual way. She responds by saying, I feel very sexy. The girl talks about random things, shoe size, their favorite classes in school. Eventually, the man puts his hand under her skirt, and the girl begins to tickle his thigh. She laughs, and almost fell off the couch. The man ceases to tickle, and tells her that he loves her. And something else that is way too hard to hear. The video is now cut to a red screen, and then cuts back to the point of view of a handheld camera. The man holding the camera, Bunny, now shirtless, his rabbit ears before, he's aiming the camera at the far lying girl on the floor, with knees and elbows tied together, leaving her face on the floor, leaving her face on the floor and her ass in the air. Her pieces of clothing are only a bra and a pair of socks, her ankles and wrists are also tied. The camera does a 360 turnaround as the girl cries. The camera pans around the room. You can see at night from the window of the room, then focus on the girl's face. She wears a fake nose and a pig head. The bunny man tells her to squeal like a pig, but she still cries. He begins spanking her as she angrily yells out a scream. She starts to scream and mourn at the same time. If you look at the background, the man in the pig mask. If you look in the background, you can still see a man with a pig mask. And he's holding a digital camera. After five minutes of screams and laughter from the bunny man and the girl, we see three people in the room. One is a hooded man from the second video. There's the French girl from the first video. And the other man who has tickled the girl before. But it seems worse than before. They are completely naked and they start rubbing her buttocks sexually. They talked about reasons about justifying killing her, or whether they should kill her or not. The man who is talking to her feels doubts. He explains his love for her, and that implies a desire to keep in limbo, and wants to ensure that she never leaves, but still says he wants to have fun with it at the same time. At this point, the man in the bunny suit takes out a razor blade and aggressively starts to cut her buttocks several times until it bleeds violently. At the same time, the man in the pig mask pour a bucket of this green liquid on her anus, while all singing happy birthday to the man who tickled before. When the syrup is brought into contact with the cuts on her skin, she begins to mourn in severe pain. The man finally adjusted to the downward bunny camera and focused on the girl. Everyone in the room begins to lick the blood and syrup off the girl, with the exception of the man in the pig mask and the hooded man. She keeps screaming. After five minutes of licking, Josh starts to put a long stainless steel tube into her anus. He leaves it in a couple seconds and immediately takes it out. Blood runs down her legs, and they start licking it for a moment. Everyone left the room after that, and the camera still focused on her. After about ten minutes, she dies a gruesome death. In the closing seconds, you can see the man in the pig mask up at the window, looking at the body. 
and the video ends. The last one, Dessert. Unlike the first three videos, it didn't begin with a title card. The video starts in the hell of the first video, which recorded the first girl alive. The French girl is in front of the camera, reading a piece of paper, very English. She said something about the desire to end the scum of the world and have fun doing it. Most of the dialogue is vulgar and consists of bitch and whore. To look into the background, you can see the pigs of the first video, but the pigs appear to be dead. The video is cut in a strange bathroom with a man and the girl from the first video. They're both in the shower, but they're still fully clothed. They kiss for nearly three minutes. Cut to another red screen for three seconds. And the man in the pig mask is having sex with a young girl who appears to be dead or unconscious. They're in an empty room of the video from Amy, age 20. There's a dog, and the dog looks as if it's been burned and beaten in various parts of its body. The masked man screams the pig word food for the entire clip. We cut back to the French girl. She is now in a bathtub filled with chocolate syrup and whipped cream. The video continues for three minutes. She, she constantly rubs the chocolate between her breasts and tells the camera, are you hungry? The hooded man from the video lunch and Josh start licking the chocolate syrup, especially around the crotch. We cut back to the pig man in the empty room. Neither the girl nor the dog is in sight. He begins to beat a chair against the floor and kicks several times. Now pieces of various video clips from the past began to appear randomly, doing a jump kind of compilation. It's a numerous compilation of people jumping on trampolines naked, cuts, torturing others, makeup, and more. The video clip ends with the bunny man giving a blow to the camera. After two weeks of taking the subject at several different sites in various forums, the website had been removed. If you look on the internet, you could still find videos and images of the website, just none of which of the four I mentioned. The few videos on YouTube are talking about the site and its creators. It has been claimed by many lovers of gore that the videos were false and were made as a joke by the amateur filmmaker. But there is no proof of this.